Good morning. It's Friday, May the 15th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing you the best press releases out of the small cap sector in the AM, along with the halls, so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Here in Canada, we're getting ready to go into a long weekend. However, it is a busy news cycle day. We don't have any Canadian news, but we've got a ton of U.S. news for you, and we've got one halt to report on the next segment of our program. So without any further ado, let's get down to it. Our lead story coming out of the OTCBB is a company called China Advanced Construction Materials Group. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CADC. The company is announcing some pretty impressive numbers. It's their th uh, three months ended March 31st, 2009. That's their third quarter of fiscal 2009. We've got revenues that increased to $9.3 million. It's up from $6.8 million from the same time last year. Gross profit was $3.9 million, up from $1.8 million, same period last year. We've got net income, which increased to $2.3 million, or $0.16 cents per diluted share, up from $1.3 million, or $0.15 cents per diluted share in the same time period last year. In addition, the company also expects to remain on track to achieve a net income of at least $9 million for fiscal 2009. So that's worth repeating, on track to, reach, uh, to achieve net income of at least $9 million for fiscal 2009. As of March 31st, 09, the company had cash of almost $1 million, restricted cash of just over half a million dollars, and working capital of approximately $8 million with no long-term debt. A little bit about the company, they're a looting producer of advanced construction materials for large-scale commercial, residential, and infrastructure developments, and that's all taking place in China. Companies last at $2.50, high of $2.85, low of $1.01, and the mark cap of approximately $26 million. Moving on to our next company, China Valves Technology. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CVVT. One more time, earnings first quarter for 2009. We've got highlights which include net revenue of $17.2 million. It represents a 33% increase. Gross profit of $8.3 million. It's a 63% increase over the same period last year. And finally, we've got net income of $3 million, which is up from $1.8 million. Uh, as of March 31st, the company had $16.3 million in cash and cash equivalents compared to $16.4 million as of December 31st, 08, so their cash position is relatively flat. A little bit about the company, they're engaged in development, manufacture, and sale of high-quality metal valves for industrial use in China. Company is last at $2.35, high of $8, low of $1.20, market cap of just under $150 million. Moving on to our next company, you guessed it, another Chinese company, and another one about earnings. They're reporting first quarter financial results. The company is called Sinohub. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol SIHI. Revenues for the first quarter of 2009 were $18.1 million, up from $11.6 million. Net income was $2 million, up from $1.1 million. And as of March 31st, the company had $4.9 million in non-restricted cash and cash equivalents. A little bit about the company. Uh, they, are, they were founded in 2000, uh, in 2000 uh, and they are engaged in electronic component sales and they provide world-class supply chain management services. Company is last at $2.50, high of $3, low of $1, mark cap of approximately $61 million. Moving on to our next and final company, China Auto Logistics. They trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CALG. Once again, financial results, first quarter, 2009. We've got revenues uh, are up 35% to $45 million. Net income uh, uh, up 10% to $1.2 million or six cents per share. And a little bit about the company, they have grown to become one of the top importers of luxury vehicles in China. We know that the Chinese demographics are definitely uh, moving towards luxury items in the upper, uh, the upper echelon of their demographics. Uh, the company's last at $3.90. High of $4.43, low of $0.75, cents and a market cap of approximately $70 million. Now, moving on to the halts, I've only got one halt to report on. It comes out of the TSX Venture under the symbol SBI. The company is called Skin Biology Inc. The company is being halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to join us again tomorrow. We've got more great news at the open for you.